It's umsum time. What if burgers disappear? Huh? Oh no! Now what will I eat? Oh umsum. <laughs> to buy this mug, visit umsum.com. Firstly, burgers are generally considered to be not good for health. If burgers disappeared, many people may actually <laughs> lose weight. Hmm. Secondly, if burgers disappeared, huh? sale of bread may also plummet. Hmm. Thirdly, if burgers disappeared, huh? people who love burgers may actually go on a hunger strike. Hmm. Fourthly, if burgers disappeared, sale of pizzas may skyrocket. Hmm. Fifthly, burgers are generally considered to have a lot of calories. If burgers disappeared, dietitians would be one happy lot. Mm. Lastly, after a long workout session, some people love to have a small cheat meal. <laughs> if burgers disappeared, these huh? people would be mightily disappointed. Mm. What if pizza disappeared? Oh no! I just opened an Umsum pizza store! Huh? Oh, Umsum. Firstly, if pizza disappeared, huh? some people might actually start losing weight. Mm. Secondly, many people love to eat pizza. If pizza disappeared, huh? many people may actually start eating more at home. Mm. Thirdly, pizza is said to have been invented in Italy. If pizza disappeared, huh? Huh? entire country may go on strike. Fourthly, if pizza disappeared, oh. pizza delivery guys will have a lot of free time on their hands. Mm. Fifthly, cheese and pizza go hand in hand. If pizza disappeared, huh? sale of cheese may come down. Hmm. Lastly, if pizza disappeared, huh? Huh? fast food joints world over may start closing up. Hmm. <laughs> Why are pizza boxes square? Hmm? <laughs> Cause square is what's in right now. Nah. Hey you, come over here. Mm. Even though pizza's around, huh? square boxes are preferred. Why? This is because a square box is made using oh. just a single cardboard sheet. Mm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. While a round box requires several sheets <gasps> that need to be joined together using special machinery. Holy! So, it is cheaper and simpler to make square boxes. Yes. As square boxes can be easily assembled on some, they are transported in the form of flat cardboard sheets, easily stacked on. <laughs> However, round boxes need to be first assembled. This makes it difficult to transport and store these huge piles of boxes on site. Hmm? Further, there are empty spaces around the pizza ah. in the square box, making hmm. it easy to lift the pizza. The empty spaces can even be used to place chili flakes, oregano, it's... Hmm. Topic, diffusion. <laughs> Why can we smell the hot food from a distance? Huh? Hey, looks like you have lost your way. No, I know the way. Fine, don't listen. Mm. <laughs> huh? Mm. See, I told you. Mm. Now listen to me. Huh? There is a restaurant next to your house where hot sizzling food is available. <laughs> right? Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Follow its smell, and you will reach oh. home. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Yippee! I have reached home! Do you know how the smell of that food mm. reached you? Mm. When food gets cooked, it releases some huh? aromatic gases into the air. The molecules of these gases spread ah. and mix with air molecules. <laughs> When this air reaches our nose, we get the smell of food. Hmm. This process of spreading and mixing of a substance with another substance is called diffusion. But then, why couldn't I smell the food inside my house from a distance? 
This is because that food had become cold. Hmm. On heating huh? food, the molecules of its aromatic gases oh. gain kinetic energy and start vibrating faster. Hooray! They spread and mix easily into air, leading to an increased rate oh. of diffusion. Hmm. As the food gets cold, the temperature of the aromatic gases oh. decreases. The kinetic energy of <laughs> molecules decreases and they do not ah. vibrate as much anymore. Hmm. Thus, the rate of diffusion decreases and we cannot smell the food from a distance. <laughs> Why does airplane food taste bad? I don't know. Wait, I'll explain. <laughs> Our ability to perceive taste is affected by a few factors such as humidity, air pressure, etc. In an airplane, the humidity is less as compared to that on the ground. This makes the air in the airplane quite dry. Hmm. Also, to maintain the air pressure oh. inside and outside the airplane, the air pressure inside it is decreased. Decreased air huh? pressure and dry air dries our nose and mouth. Dry nose cannot properly smell odors. Yeah, dude, I'm not able to smell the burger. Now, smell of food helps us to understand the flavor and ingredients of the food. Thus, the food which we cannot smell properly appears hmm. unappealing. Also, dry mouth reduces the sensitivity of our taste buds. As a result, we cannot perceive the taste mm. of food properly. Topic: Human nose. <laughs> Why does spicy food make your nose run? Because it is not that strong to make me run. <laughs> nah. Huh? Our nose consists of tiny hair and a sticky substance called mucus. Can I use this mucus to stick my broken vase? <laughs> Ooh, gross. Huh? Please don't do that mm. and listen. During breathing, the hair and mucus trap harmful substances, thus prohibiting them from entering deep inside the body. <laughs> huh? Now, spicy food items like chili, mustard, horseradish, and wasabi contain chemicals called capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate. <laughs> when we eat such food items, the capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate travel through the pharynx and reach our nose. Here, the chemicals activate the heat sensing receptors, thus causing inflammation in our nose and irritation of the mucus. <laughs> Hence, as a defense mechanism, more mucus is produced in our nose to get rid of these chemicals, thus making our nose run. Why do we love junk food? Cause it looks cool, bro. Nah. We love junk food because manufacturers oh. design it to activate our ah. brain's reward system. They create the perfect combination of salt, sugar, spices, etc., which excite our ah. taste buds, thus activating our brain's reward system, making us feel good. Now, after this, when we eat regular food, as it doesn't activate the reward system, it feels less appealing. Besides this, if we compare these foods, the quantity of healthy food looks uh -huh. more, right? Ah. But surprisingly, they both contain the same number of calories. What? Yes. Now, since healthy food also contains fiber and water, they add up to the volume, thus filling our stomach. But as the junk food doesn't have enough water and fiber, it doesn't fill us. So we keep eating and thus end up consuming more calories, leading to obesity, diabetes, oh. etc. Mm. Something's missing. Sugar? Salt? No, it's saliva. To taste food, the taste buds on our tongue need a liquid medium like saliva to bind food molecules to its receptors. Saliva also contains an enzyme called amylase, which breaks carbohydrates into simple sugars. So, without saliva, foods having carbohydrates may taste different. Also, saliva contains natural disinfectants, which help wipe away harmful pathogens. Why do we get food cravings? Who says so? I'm always on a strict diet. <laughs> oh, I'm um, so. Let me explain. Firstly, craving for chocolates is an indication of low levels of magnesium huh? in our body. Hmm. 
Secondly, we crave for cheese <laughs> because it contains an amino acid called tryptophan, which boosts production of serotonin in our body. Serotonin is also called a happy chemical as it contributes to feelings of well-being and happiness. Thirdly, <laughs> our craving for sugar and sweets is primarily because of low oh. blood sugar. Our body can efficiently produce energy using sugar or carbohydrate. Hmm. Now if reduce intake of sugar or when we are low on energy, then our body craves for sugar or sweets. Hmm. Fourthly, we crave for salt, as in sodium, as our body tries to correct the imbalance of sodium caused either due to dehydration or electrolyte imbalance. Hmm. Lastly, we crave for tea or coffee mainly because of addiction to caffeine.